I really don't understand why people tend to complicate things, especially on a scorching hot day. Hi, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, this is Jan. Welcome to another episode on the Save Money and More with Jan channel. Nice to talk to you. Hope that everybody listening is doing well. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate everybody's time. I was speaking to a relative recently, and actually we speak a number of times during the week. And uh, one of the routine questions I might either throw at her or she may uh, decide to throw at me is, what are you going to have for dinner tonight, Jan? Or, you know, I would throw the question back, you know, just for fun, just, you know, take a pulse on the, um, the meal planning thing to see what happens. I said, well, I said, it is really hot here today. I said, you know what I'm having for dinner? I'm getting my trusty paper plate. I'm getting my beautiful whole wheat bread and i'm going to make me a nice juicy peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> so my relative was like that's it i said uh-huh she was like no i said yeah i said why do people complicate things all right i'm perfectly happy to have that simple peanut butter and jelly sandwich and i'll explain why a number of reasons number one the heat number two it's so simple to make the cleanup is a breeze throwaway paper plate. <laughs> These are not the fancy schmancy paper plates. These are like the two cent paper plates, you know, perfect for the thing that I'm doing. And I'm not depriving myself of nutrients because earlier in the day, I had myself a beautiful tuna salad sandwich and I had my lettuce and my tomato in there and, you know, and, you know tuna and everything was fixed nicely. A little bit of my favorite Mrs. Dash flavor in there. It was excellent. And then for breakfast, I had a couple of simple eggs for breakfast and a half of uh, an English muffin to go with it and a nice tall, uh, you know, cup of coffee to go with it. So I had plenty of stuff. Plus, I had a banana in midday. I had plenty, plenty of food in me. So by the time the dinner hour arrived, I was not even looking to eat something serious and big time complicated. This is why I'm doing this message today. Our meals at times, and especially on a hot night, do not have to be complicated, do not have to be expensive, can be simple, and it just works out that way. I told you a few times on certain nights, I wouldn't mind sitting down to a cold uh, cold uh, cereal with some nice cold milk and some berries and maybe some corn flakes or you know some Rice Krispie type thing or whatever. And I'm totally a-okay with that. I don't have to have a 10-course meal for dinner. That's just me. How do you feel about it? Do you keep it simple on, on that type of a night? I was just wondering. You think there's anything wrong with just having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich once in a while for dinner? Like I said, and I described the previous meal. So nutritionally, I was very, very balanced out for the previous part of the day. So to just have a little bit of peanut butter and some jam. I actually prefer jam. Jam to me is way better. I like jam. I like marmalade. I'm not saying I don't like jelly, but it's like out of the three. And what's interesting is that Steve Young from the Everywhere with Steve Young 74 channel, he has a similarity in, in taste with the, uh, with the jam. But why should I complicate matters? I had my fancier stuff earlier in the day. So it's funny that my relative was like, what? That's all you're going to have? <laughs> Well, I might have considered making an egg cream to go with that. You know what's funny about egg creams? There aren't any eggs in it. There isn't any cream in it. Basically, just using seltzer, uh, Hershey syrup, or whatever syrup you have, and milk. And then you you know put it into taste, and it foams up, and it's really good with ice cold seltzer, ice cold milk. It really, really makes it good. That with a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Hello, I am in heaven. Just saying, just saying. All right, everybody. Wish you an amazing, fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here all week long. I really appreciate everybody's time. Come back every single Monday through Friday at midnight for my no frills videos. And if there is not going to be one, I let you know it. That's just me. I know, I know. Then, of course, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon for usually for a longer show, longer than five minutes. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care. Bye-bye.